Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to draw a bridle joint. It's a pretty simple joint, uh, sometimes referred to as an open mortise and tenon. First of all, we're going to um, make sure that we've got our settings right, and then we're going to start. We'll just get rid of this guy here. We don't need him. Click on him, hit the delete key. Come over to here where it says I. This is the model info. Make sure we've got millimeters selected and a precision of zero. That's correct. We're now going to draw a piece of material on the ground here, big enough to make our joint out of. And so we're going to use the rectangle tool, R for rectangle, click, just click and drag. Don't hold your finger down. Then we're going to, we're going to type in the numbers 200, 44. Enter, you'll notice it's quite small. So hit the Shift Z key and it'll zoom in. We're now going to use the push-pull tool to give it some thickness. So P for push-pull, click on there, drag it up. Don't hold your finger down, just click, lift, and then drag. Type in the number 19 and enter. We're going to use orbit key now, so O for orbit, and just hold your finger down and rotate so we can get a better view of the end here because that's where we're going to make the joint. Change to the selection tool by hitting the space bar. Triple click on the object, hold the option key, control key down, sorry, and click again, and make that a group. We'll check to make it so that's a group by clicking it once, the whole thing will be highlighted. Uh, if it's a group and we double click, it will be open in edited mode. Then you'll see the rectangle around the outside and dotted lines. So now we're going to put some um, guidelines on this to help us mark out the joint. So the guideline tool is T for tape measure. Click the T, go to the end here, edge of group, click, drag and type in 44. And do the same on the end, click, drag and type in six. Now normally um, we'd go one third down, one third down, one third down, but because this is 19, one third is 6.3. You know, you might be able to do that in a drawing program, but when you're doing that on a piece of timber, it's it's quite awkward. So I generally come in six mils from each side, which leaves seven mils in the middle. A little bit of extra thickness in the tenon makes it a little bit stronger. Okay, so we're ready to actually draw the joint. It's pretty quick. We're just going to draw a rectangle on the end here, but first of all, we need to make sure it's in edit mode. So use the space bar, triple, uh, double click. You'll notice the highlight box around the outside. R for rectangle, go to that intersection there, click and drag. And you'll notice the smaller number is first. So we're going to go and type seven comma 44, enter. Now, if we'd go on, click and drag from this side, and I'll undo that and I'll show you, you'll then notice that the numbers are reversed. So you just gotta be careful which way you draw it to make sure that it goes across the object, not down. Once we've drawn that there, we're going to use the push-pull tool, which is P, highlight this section on the end there, and then line up with that intersection with that guideline right in the corner there. There we go. Done. The next thing is to create the uh, component that slides into here. Now it makes uh, it easier if we draw it over the top of this one because we then see where we can draw the lines on it to make sure that the components uh, fit into each other perfectly. So to do that we're going to use the R tool again. And notice I've clicked off the object out of edit mode. R for rectangle, click there, drag off in that direction, type in the number 200, 44, enter. We're going to use the push-pull tool, push up to that height there, and then change to the, the selection tool again, one, two, three, uh, control click, make a group. Now we're going to edit this component to fit with this component. So to do that, we double click, let's put it in edit mode. We're gonna draw a line with the line tool, L for line tool. We're gonna to draw a line from there, intersection to there. Use the push pull down to this level here. And then 
orbit around to the bottom and do the same on the bottom. That's O for orbit. Um, line tool, L. Click. Drag. Push pull up to that point there. I think that's right, but we can check it's right. If we pull the joint apart, we'll see whether it fits or not. So let's change the selection tool and click off the object. Let's click on this object once and use the move tool M to pull this apart. And you'll see that in fact, the joint is correct. Have a go at that. And then I'm going to show you how to draw a more complex joint. And then I'll give you some activities to do.